Exact Vision can be configured to send email notifications to one or more people when triggered by various events. The first step to configure a notification is to configure Exact Vision to use an outgoing email server to send messages. Begin by selecting the Email Servers tab. Click New at the bottom left to create a new email server configuration. The panel to the right is now enabled to fill out. First, give the configuration a descriptive name. Then, fill out the address of the server. This can be an IP address or a domain name. For example, the host name for Gmail is smtp.gmail.com. If you aren't sure what the proper SMTP values are, consult your email system administrator. The port defaults to 2.5, but for servers with SSL security, port 465 is often used. If the outgoing email server requires authentication, fill out the username and password fields. Finally, click Add to save your email server configuration. ExactVision can store more than one email server configuration. When a notification must be sent, ExactVision will try the first email server on the list. If that does not succeed, ExactVision will continue with the next server in the list until the email is successfully sent. You can readjust the order of the stored configurations using the up and down arrow buttons. Now that how to send an email has been configured, you can now configure what type of email to send. Select the Email Message Profiles tab and then create a new email message profile using the New button in the lower left. This will enable the panel on the right for you to fill out. Give the profile a descriptive name that you can easily recognize later. The send rate limit ensures that Exact Vision does not send the same message too often and flood your inbox. Some events that can trigger notifications can happen frequently, within a short time frame. This could generate dozens or hundreds of emails. When the send rate limit is set to a value higher than zero, Exact Vision will send a message only once within the specified time period. Setting the limit to 600 seconds would restrict Exact Vision to sending one message every 10 minutes. The from address will be who the recipients received the message from and will also be where any reply to messages are sent. The recipient list can contain one or more addresses as primary recipients, carbon copy recipients, or blind carbon copy recipients. If some recipients would prefer to receive text messages on mobile phones, you may be able to specify their phone number as an email address depending on their carrier. For example, AT&T customers can receive text messages by specifying an email address in the format of their phone number at txt.att.net. Note that some carriers may not show the subject and content must be 140 characters or less. The remaining fields describe the content of your notification message. The subject and message fields support substitution variables that will automatically be replaced with the actual value when the message is sent. For example, if you create a notification that triggers when a camera loses connection to the exact vision server, it is useful to see the specific camera in the message. First, click on the Subject Input box. Notice that the Add Field dropdown is now enabled. Now, click on the Field Source in the dropdown. The variable, Source, is now in the subject text. You can also add additional text to the subject. In this example, we will create a subject that says what event has occurred and what device is affected. The Source field will be substituted with the name of the camera. You can also type the substitution variables directly. Each field can occur once in the subject and body. Refer to the product help for a full list of substitutional variables. If a notification is associated with a specific camera, the Attach Preview checkbox will attach a short 5 second video clip to the message. This can be helpful if the notification is in regard to motion or alarm events. If the event is not associated with a camera, no video is attached. If video is encoded in MPEG-4 or MJPEG instead of H.264, a single still image is attached. Once an email message profile is created, you can test the notification using the Test Profile button. Now we've defined how a message is sent and what the message will contain, but we haven't defined when to send the message. To do this, we must navigate to the Event Linking page. The Event Linking page allows you to configure Exact Vision to take specific actions when specific events are detected. In this case, we want to send a message when a specific event happens. 
Start by navigating to the event linking page and pressing the new button to create a new server action. First, you must specify the type of event to detect. Many different event types are available, including events from cameras, server health events, data streams, and scheduled timing events. Second, you must specify the exact source of the event. If you are interested in taking action when motion is detected, then you must select the specific camera detecting the motion. Third, you must specify the type of action to take. Some possible actions include recording video or triggering an output, but in this case, we want to select Notify. Finally, you must select the specific action target. In the case of a notification, the action target will be the email profile you previously defined. Once all four criteria are selected, Press the Apply button to create the server action. Email notifications allow administrators to address system events quickly, to minimize downtime, and to increase the effectiveness of their surveillance system. For more information on event linking, please refer to the event linking video tutorial.